strives to make your experience as stress-free He's got the two home chickens. He's got away with the ladies, they're always taking him home to mother. When she answers the door, she's like, I see you make your father. It's obvious his mouth is gonna get him in trouble. Yo, Bill, call the board, get the bail on the double. Pop the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris to blow. Pop the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris to blow. Pop the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris to blow. Well, 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 my little Nancy's it's eight PM Central Valley Talk dot com. It must be another episode of Sex Drugs, Chris Devon. Billy Baroo, fantastic. How I'm feeling? How the fuck are you feeling, Bill? Oh my god, it's like, oh my god, it's like we weren't even here last week. But we weren't here last week. We smoke a lot of fucking weed, but I don't. A lot of people around here do. But holy hell, Bill, feels like two weeks sometimes in between episodes. But here we are, another night, and we're bringing it. And Bill, it feels awfully nice in the studio. I'm not gonna lie to you, it feels pretty fucking amazing. How's everybody feeling on their Friday night? Oh, Bill, we got a nice one for you. I'm gonna go ahead and start it out by saying, Sex Drugs Christopher has an official Facebook page, spelled like a chick with a K, but I do have a dick. No! We're not pulling it out, no! Thank you! It's actually a little chilly. It might be up in me a little bit. I don't want your legs like, I'm not looking, I'm not looking at your dick, Chris. I'm not gonna look at your dick. How'd you like the official Facebook page? You would've known that tonight. Talking all things Central Valley Metal Movement in the house, we have Jeff Grilly! That's gonna be fantastic, he's coming up. And then, by the way, my live musical guest of the evening is Andrea Roberts! Oh yeah, she just got here. She's like, where is, where's the bee room we need to freshen up? They got here, they've been posting the live videos on the Facebook. I sound old. Sound like a fucking senior citizen when you say, the Facebook. When it's on the Facebook. Or it's like, have you been smoking the weed? And it's like, you know, have you been hitting the bong? Like smoking the weed, I mean, it's good weed. I wouldn't call it the weed, you know, it's all right. But fuck, all right. Bill, let's go ahead and just start with it now, Bill. You ever seen when a whale washes up on the fucking beach? Whale. No, a whale washes up on the beach. They got to do something with that big old fucking carcass. You know that, right, Bill? Right, right. Oh, man, and it's a horrible fucking scene. It's a horrible scene when it's going down. Let's start with this fucking picture, okay? This picture is a 60,000-pound rotting fucking whale on the, uh, on the fucking uh, beach. Now, here's what they had to fucking do. This 40 wood well carcass was floated, it floated for four days, and man, it finally came up on shore here in California, and there was decaying in the hot sun. Officials are coming out there like, the skin on this thing is soft, like it's gonna burst any minute now. It's all saucy, getting the fucking sand all gooey beneath it. Now what they had to do was they had to bust it up into pieces. And they're saying that this thing stank up the high hell. The whole area stank, Bill. It's like, that. I'm not even going to go like a bad date from fucking 87 on prom night, right, Bill? Look at this. You get a well carcass on the beach. These are what these things are looking like. They got to do something with this. Now here... It wasn't their first choice on how they were going to get rid of this fucking whale, okay? These guys are like, is there a better way? The fucking tides. What are we going to do? We got these fucking tides. Get the fucking C4 out of here. We're going to blow this thing up, and we're going to take it to another part of L.A., and then we're going to bury it in the fucking ground. This is what they did, okay? So these guys, there was a state official out there who said it was the most gruesome thing he had ever seen. Now, this is a state official out there like, oh. 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 Oh
Oh, and you can't, you can't drive your car fast enough away from that fucking smell. You're at home and your wife's like, oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's already like, like seeping. It's seeping out. Oh my God, what are these? And, and that's somebody's job. That's somebody's job. You're like, what are you, a state official? Was that Parks and Rec? Now, is that game? Is that the wildlife and game? And you get that weird phone call. You're like, boy, is it great working on the beach side. I love my job with the wildlife and game, you know? Is that what they call it? The, the beach side? No, nope, not at all, huh? I'm at the beach. What's that, a phone call? All right, let's take it. Go for the... Go for the vault. What's out there at the beach? Pus. Pus. And more pus? C4, pus? No, and it's seeping? Seepage. The sand beneath it is saucy? Oh, the sauce. Oh, why the sauce? They blew this thing up. They took it to another part of fucking uh, uh, L.A. area. They buried. They buried. They buried. They buried. They buried this thing. They're hoping to grow more whales. I don't know what the fuck you do with this fucking thing. Wouldn't they contaminate fucking water at that point, Bill? Is that what you really want to find? Oh, my God. These photos, man. Bill, you really fucking did your work on fucking this one, man. These things are fucking horrible. All right, what are these stories I picked tonight? We're already signed. Might as well just pull up all my favorite blackhead popping videos on YouTube for you guys, huh? Yeah. I don't watch those. Yeah. Yes, I do. They're so fulfilling, Bill. It's like all that work and then a payoff. And then you read the comments to make yourself feel normal afterwards. I ain't the only one. I don't do any of that. Yes, I do, Bill. Anyways, so here we go. Now, you know, the Asians, the Japanese culture in general, the, the Asians? Should I not say the Asians? Is that wrong? Is that wrong? Lords of disrespect. Should I not do that? I don't even know what I can do anymore, Bill! The Japanese people as a culture... No, I'm just trying to talk about how these how these Japanese folks be making morgues look like hotels and neighborhoods so people don't get mad they're living by a bunch of dead people. But I don't know how to bring up the, the Japanese, Bill. I don't know how to talk about them without getting in trouble right now. The Asian American, the Asian, the Japanese, the Japanese Asians. Uh, what they're doing is, and Bill, Bill, what they're doing is, essentially you're moving into a neighborhood. And, you know, it's not a neighborhood we gotta worry about whales being blown up by C4 on the fucking beach. This is a nice neighborhood. But you notice there's this hotel that's next to your apartment complex. And you always see people checking in. But they're not checking out, Bill. The Johnsons came in Tuesday. I just fucking see them come out, Bill. I don't know where the fuck the Johnsons went. Well, that's because it's a fucking morgue. Now... Uh, the, the, I don't even know how to say it. The Japanese culture, the Japanese folk. Apparently they have so much death going on over there that it's a fucking business. Now Bill just showed a photo. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little girl on her bike in front of it. She's like, this is a great neighborhood. They got the vending machine there. Family's like, have fun playing outside. What is that smell? You know, it's like, what is that smell in this neighborhood? That's the only part that I can't get. Now, Bill, it's a fucking, it's a morgue, okay? Now, what would you rather have? Would you rather know that you're living next to a morgue and it looks all, with all the deadies? No. And you just want to know? Well, they just hide it from you. And is that what works against the dead people coming from the morgue, Bill? A bunch of sage? I don't know about that, loca. I might be like, what is it? You gotta do it like in a cross in the fucking doorway. You gotta make sure the heebie jeebies don't come. I can't believe that. I, I, no, no, I'm gonna end up with something scary happening to me tonight. Maybe I do believe it. I don't want anything fucking freaky happen to me, alright? Now, Billy Baru, yeah. let's go ahead and talk about this. There's an unknown. Well, actually, maybe it is known. There's a little fucking firefighter policeman. You know they got a rivalry going on, right? Firefighters aren't so fine of the police. The police aren't so fine of the firefighters. They always accuse each other of being lazy. You know, these guys don't work so hard for their money. We risk our lives on a daily basis. You know, they have this fucking argument all the time. As a matter of fact, I think, uh, I don't know if they still do it. They used to have an annual mud bowl that would happen. And I think it would be, no, did they stop that? You remember that, though? My dad was a I'm fucking old, man. But that was a rivalry, right? It's a big deal. Now, you must imagine this. You're a bunch of fucking cops and you're hanging out in an elevator and you're hitting the buttons because that's what cops and elevators do. They hit fucking buttons. All right, Bill? 
Now they hit the fucking buttons. There's 12 of them packed in this elevator, Baru. That's a fucking tight fit. Even if these cops are small, 12 of them in one elevator? They gotta get some bigger cops in this fucking neighborhood. This is from Kansas City, all right? Kansas City Fire Department gets the phone call. They all must be sitting around, you know, you gotta, what are, what are they, uh, four days on, three days off, or something like that? Yeah, two on, four off. You go, go two on, four off, all right? You go play some 360 or some Xbox One at the, uh, the firehouse. They're making a badass fucking dinner for everyone. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I don't know where, Bill, the call comes in. The call's like, <laughs> we gotta go rescue who? They're like 12 cops stopped, stopped in a fucking elevator. So these firemen, oh, Bill, it's got to be a great time. great time. You want to put on your best. You want to grab your best, all right? You're going to go rescue Hello. these cops. You want to look good when you show up for the cops. But then, Bill, it's 2016. It doesn't just have to be a story that you always tell people. You can take pictures. And now I present to you the firefighters taking a photo of all 12 police uh, before they can even get them out. <laughs> Let's get a, let's get a, let's get a close up of that one right there with his fucking thumbs up. Look at that fucking dude, Bill. Yeah. He's like, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. That's something you go show your fucking kids. And your kids are like, oh, huh, you think fucking cops are cooler? Why, I, why dad have to fucking save twelve of them? And dad's cheese balling it. Dad's loving fucking life at that point. Billy Baru, let's go ahead and do this. CentralValleyTalk.com, Sex, Drugs, Christopher. Let's go ahead and take a short commercial break. When we come back, we have Jeff Grillet from Central Valley Metal Movement. Yeah. And our live musical guest of the evening, Andrea Roberts. Yeah. Go ahead and slide that knob, Bill, but not like a 60,000 pound low. I can't take it at anything, Bill. Oh, oh, Bill. Delicious, nutrient-dense, 100% organic raw milk from Organic Pastures. Visit OrganicPastures.com or call 1-877-RAW-MILK. I was an addict, an opiate addict. The three years clean in October. I was renewed at the Fresno Rescue Mission. My mom, who does a lot of cooking, has been part of the rescue mission, has been willing to help teach people to make jams and jellies and other food. The Fresno Rescue Mission. And I believe that downtown Fresno needs a renewal as well. Tree of Life Cafe represents new, healthy growth in downtown Fresno. I've seen men and women go through rehab programs. They want to start a new life. And yet when they get out on the street, they find it very difficult to get a job. Nobody will give them a chance. That's what this cafe is designed to do. You will be like family to us. We will serve you our home-cooked food made with farm-fresh produce that comes from farmers right here in our valley. We love downtown Fresno. Sunshine Natural Health in Tulare, California is your source for nature's best remedies. Call Sunshine Natural Health at 559-688-2063 and get healthy. If you're considering a reverse mortgage in the Central Valley or just want more information, contact Jerry Carmichael. She's experienced and more important, she's... Call Brian Cossack today at 559-977-1976. Protecting you and those you love financially. Make an appointment today. At Miracle Realty, we've been providing premier professional residential sales and property management in residential and commercial property for years. We manage single-family homes, condominiums, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, office space, and much more. No matter what experience level you have in property management, Miracle Realty strives to make your experience as stress-free as possible. Serving Madeira and the surrounding areas, we use the latest technology and provide top-notch service. We're a trusted and reliable name in residential sales and property management with the experience to answer any questions or complications that might come up. Give us a call today or visit us online for more information. Central Valley
What up, little little nasty? SexRollyTalk.com. Sex drugs, Chris Wolves. What the fuck you're watching? Hopefully, you refilled the weed bowl, the cereal bowl. Maybe you got yourself another beer. Maybe you got chocolate milk. If I had chocolate milk, I'd be blowing bubbles in mine. Oh, oh, Billy Baru, one day we'll find out. Now, there's a little thing going on here in town. There's a lot of bands. A lot of bands being gathered uh, together by a man. This man's gathering these bands together. He's creating a movement of sorts. A Central Valley Metal movement, if you will. Uh -oh. Shows, venues, all sorts of things going on, Bill. And tonight, uh, we're going to have him on. We're going to talk about him. Let's go ahead and uh, welcome to the show, Jeff Grillin. Yeah. Jeff, welcome to the show. Uh, you came on me. before. We had you on with one of the bands of the Central Valley Movement. Yes. Let's go ahead and just fucking start. Uh, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. What is the Central Valley Metal Movement? What is it? Well, basically, it's a brotherhood. I mean, a brotherhood of local musicians, uh, local metal bands that uh, just want to make the scene better. Uh, you know, it's been doing. I mean, since the last time that I was on here, we've had at least what five shows, and it's. It's it's taken off. I have what thirty bands now that are just gung ho about it, and it's 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 amazing. Like I can't believe how big how big it's getting so far. And uh, you know, I think every single one of the bands has been helping promoting and all that. Especially you too. You know, let me come on and uh, you know fuck up the show every once in a while. Yeah, right. <laughs> now let's go ahead. And where, where, where was the idea behind this? Where did you get the idea? You're just sitting around one day and you're like, I'm going to get together a bunch of fucking bands. We're going to do this. Where do you get the idea? Where does it come from? Well, actually, I was going to just do a festival. I was going to do a metal festival at one point, and um, you know, it was it was drunk on New Year's and uh, figures New Year's. I was drunk, right? Yeah, right. Um, and I was like, I'm going to do a festival, and then it just kind of went from a festival to. A metal movement like it's basically just like a brotherhood i had so many musicians or so many bands hitting me up that i was just like you know what fuck this i'm just gonna make it to where i just start doing promoting and whatnot and it's actually working out a lot better i mean easier <laughs> now let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and get to it there's gonna be bill you can go ahead and show that well, what i guess it is is there's gonna be uh uh, uh bands coming on in a row on sex drugs chris devolt it's somewhat of a, a central valley metal movement takeover i guess you could say right yeah yeah um it's pretty cool like uh you know armed assailant's gonna be on they're the first band and then uh uh I can't see. I'm blind. Yeah, I know. Me too. It's all good. <laughs> it, yeah. But, but, you know, you guys can see it at home, and it, it's it's pretty cool opportunity. You know, it's a, what, almost two-month-long deal? And yeah. It, it's going to be awesome. You know, we start off kicking ass, and then it's going to end kicking ass with Exile. Those guys are... If you haven't seen them, you definitely need to check well, them out. Well, <laughs> I also think it's a good opportunity for everyone to see what the Central Valley Metal Movement is, uh, to see what it has to offer. Uh, if one week is in your cup of tea, maybe the next week will be, because there's a, a plethora of bands in the stable now. There's a, oh, a plethora, yeah. a cornucopia a, of yes. fucking bands. A buffet, this, a buffet. A buffet of fucking bands in this thing. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and talk. Now, what's what's the most, uh, the soonest show you have? I need to go see Central Valley Metal Movement bands. When? Well... You can put your pants on tomorrow, go tomorrow. to the toy store, pick up an unwrapped toy. There it is. And come right to Dynamite Vinyl. We have a Toys for Tots drive over there, and there's going to be a bunch of good bands. $3 if you have an unwrapped new toy, $5 if you don't. We have Into the Abyss, which is coming from Santa Maria, California, uh, obviously. Um, Armed Assailant. Uh, we also have A Bank for Traders. They're a really good band. Um, <laughs> Sexual Stevo in the Neighborhood Scum. And then uh, Hiatus, which is uh, my, my nephew's band, they're really good too. They're just gonna bust out a couple of Metallica covers, but uh, it's it's really cool. It's an all ages show, um, and you know. Toys for Tots will be there collecting, so it, that's definitely worth it. That's very rare that you hear something like, yeah, I'm going to give it up for that one. That you hear about a metal show doing something for Toys for Tots, and you're like, wait a minute, when? And fucking April, come on out. Ha, 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 ha. That's hilarious. But I'll tell you what, so Jeff Grilly, you got this Central Valley Metal Movement thing going in, and it's fucking amazing, right? You got all these bands. Let's go ahead and name some of the bands in the fucking stable. Name what's going on. Name all some right. of the bands that you have that, like, it's kind of like a wrestling team. It's kind of like a, I have this <laughs> wrestling promotion, and I have all these guys on my fucking stable and they're gonna come in and fucking tear it up who do you have part of the stable jeff grillin who oh man i let's see i got exiles one of them uh i got forgotten faces in conflict i hate us center path they were on here uh mystism Go to, yeah, they, you gotta they, get their they're, fucking name They're gonna fucking, give me shit if I wouldn't If I got learned that wrong. anything from emceeing <laughs> shows around Fresno, all right? You never drink too much when you got a hard band's name to fucking say. Oh, God. And I swear to God, I said mysticism one time. You had a little too much drink, and I'm like, ladies and gentlemen, mysticism, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and every time after that, we can be at any show, and they'll be like, 
You're gonna get our name right, right? I'm like, I've gotten it right the last four or five times. We're fine now. <laughs> Mistism! Mistism! <laughs> they know what they're doing with that name. Oh by the yeah, way. they do. Uh, they're they're pretty damn good. And I got a uh, Butcher's Euphoria, uh, Reminiscence, Farouk, Rampage, X. I uh, already said XL. There's a lot of fucking tons. bands. There's like 32, 33 bands that are all doing this. You know, it's it's hard to keep track at times which one which ones haven't played a show yet and which ones have. And you know, I just. I got massive amounts like Banker for Traders, you know, Vincent, Armed Assailant, just everyone. <laughs> These bands' names, Bill, they're not as bad as I would think being some metal bands. You'd think they'd be a little more like Cunt or something. No! Whoa! Whoa, that's one! Sex Drugs Christopher, that's a five come minimum. That's two. That's two. You gotta pace yourself. Trey Roberts is in the house. She has company and trying to bury myself. That's three, all right? Cunt. Oh, it's like I said that was three, and then I said the word. Did you see what I did there? That was amazing right there. Now, definitely, you got a Central Valley Metal Movement. What's the biggest fucking challenge right now? Is it trying to find the venues, trying to make the bands be on time? What's the biggest challenge when trying to get all this shit together? Uh, basically, this is scheduling. Lately, uh, I've been having problems. You know, I got double booked my last show. I'm supposed to have one at uh, Barmageddon out in the Tulare on, uh, was June 11th. Barmageddon, Bill. <laughs> that just sounds mass Barmageddon. Have you ever been there? No. Oh, I, I, I've seen it and heard about it. It's a bar with an arcade, like old school arcade games and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. hell yes. It's it's going to be freaking awesome. Like, All right. Yeah, it's... it's Get down a so little cool. bit of the Miss Pac-Man, a little bit of the fucking Dick Dog. Wait, 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 there's no ski ball there. Is there a ski oh. ball there? There's... Yes. Shut up! Oh, we might have to take a little fucking trip down to the fucking South Valley. And local. dollar PBRs. Oh, what dollar PBRs? Now they're asking for trouble at that point. Yeah, I am I might be ending up in Tulare County Jail that you night. You end up fucking beating on a dick duck <laughs> machine because it cheated you out of a free play. That's a hard one to explain to cops. Yeah, what happened? Uh, oh, I got shit. cut putting my dick in Miss Pac-Man. Oh, that's, uh, you hate when that, oh. And Bill's applauding and he's like, no, that's that's actually relevant. That's fine. <laughs> now, the Central Valley Metal Movement, uh, so they have the show coming up tomorrow for the Toys for Tots. Then we also have uh, another show coming up. Uh, which is going to be actually I'm I'm hosting this one. Oh yes. Uh, no, the other no, one, Billy Baru. There, there we go. Is. This one. Now go ahead, talk about this show. What do we need to know about this one? Uh, basically, this one I suggest bringing a helmet. Bro, oh. because this one is going to kick you right in the fucking face. That's all I can ah. say. Get kicked <laughs> in the fucking face, Bill. Uh, I got Purge, a badass band from Los Angeles. They're coming up. And all right. Exile, a Butcher's Euphoria, Armed Assailant. Vicious and then hiatus, and it's uh, gonna be at uh, uh, Fresno Illis Tattoos on a uh, uh, Clovis and Fresno Illis Tattoos. What now, know. motherfuckers? Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that place. Yeah, what it's now? Amazing. It's it, fucking amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, definitely a great time. You know, there's gonna be uh, alcohol. It's all ages. You know, and hey, if you like marijuana, definitely show up to that too. Whoa! <laughs> wait a minute, Bill. Wait a minute, Bill. Are you gonna come to that show? I, I, the pot? Make it sound so good you call it the pot? You just, just call it the weed. The place. weed? Holy <laughs> shit. Jeff Grilly, Jeff Grilly, what are you hoping to get out of the Central Valley Metal Movement? I mean, there's a lot of bands that like to throw bows here in town. Between all the rappers in town, between all the singers in town, all the fucking acoustical artists, the reggae bands, the metal bands. Why? Why now? Why try to get them together? What the fuck? What do you get out of it? What do you feel out of it? Uh, I just, you know what? I used to play music a long time ago, and I just love being around the music again and then helping out all these local bands that are around. I just... You know, want to help them get recognized. I mean, some of these guys don't even need my fucking help, really. They don't at all. But it's it's just awesome to just, you know, go every other Saturday or every Saturday and have a show with all these guys. And it's crazy, you know, knowing that I'm basically the same age as their dads, and it's pretty damn funny. <laughs> Shit's getting like, fucking oh, weird, man. and that's going on, right, man? Oh, yeah. Somebody's like, what year were you born? And they're like, 95, and you all know, oh, I was doing <laughs> shit in 95, man. I'm I was jumping up, off roofs in 95. See, and you have like a vicious, <laughs> real, like, life memory from a year someone's born. You know you might be getting fucking old. But now you're getting to help the youngins. You're getting to help oh, the youngins yeah. with their fucking bands. You're helping, helping them get out there, do what they need to do. I was there once, you know, and and I always used to look up to guys that used to help help me out. And now, you know, I'm help, you know trying to help out a lot of these bands, you know, and... It's fun. I mean, I love it. I love being around a lot of these kids and stuff, seeing them play, and, you know, it, it's it's awesome. It just, I love it. 
What has been, uh, you've bumped into a lot of bands recently, and obviously it's not like picking your favorite fucking kid. I'm not going to make you do that. But you have all these bands in the Central Valley Metal Movement. What are some of your favorite ones? And I'm not, we're not doing Pixies and favorites. I'm just saying, which one, <laughs> which one of the ones is the Pixies, Pixies, you picks your favorites? I'm just saying, which ones are kind of you been leaning toward these days? Um, I've been, you know, a lot of like, uh, reminiscence. I really love those guys, uh. 187, they're from Los Angeles. I love part of it. 187. Yeah, they're freaking That's they're awesome. actually one of the bands I know. They're out of L.A. They do the rap rock thing, and yeah. man, they do it so fantastically. Gotta say what's up to Tone and Adrian. You know, they, they got a new group called The Pricks. And uh, you gotta oh, check yeah, that out. Oh, yeah, 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 that's freaking, right. That is awesome, dude. There's all sorts of shit like that. Hey, Jeff Grilly, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, sometimes people uh, realize they come on the show and I talk too much over them. What? No, that doesn't fucking happen. Or maybe I, uh, maybe I didn't ask you the things you needed to be asked. Maybe there were things you wanted to bring up that you didn't fucking bring up. So no longer for the next Internet Television Minute is a Sex, Drugs, and Chris DeVold. For the next Internet Television Minute, it is now Sex, Drugs, and Jeff Grilly! Yeah! So hey, what's up guys? Come out tomorrow, check out some of the best metal bands that we have in this valley and a band from Santa Maria, California. Also, we got a show coming up May 7th. Chris is also hosting that. Please come out and support. Also watch the Central Valley Metal Movement takeover of the sexy beast right here. And uh, you know, just like to thank all the bands that are part of Central Valley Metal Movement. Without you guys, this would not be possible. And thank you as well, Chris. And uh, yeah. That's, um, you know what? I was trying to wear green pants the other tonight so I could blend in, but my wife said not to wear them because I got a camel toe on it. It looked like a big ass <laughs> fucking lobster claw. I just, I, I, you it. it was, it was like, it was a no. It was like a fucking steroid moose knuckle. It was just these pants are so tight I couldn't even fucking walk. So you know. And there it is. <laughs> Internet television minute. Sex, drugs, and Jeff Grilly. <laughs> Jeff, we look forward to having the bands from the Central Valley Metal Movement on. I look forward to seeing all the bands at the show that I'll be hosting with Central Valley Metal Movement. If any of this has been too much for you, any of it's too confusing, you can go like the Sex, Drugs, Christopher Facebook page, like I'm doing right now, and you'll find all that information right there. Bill, how about this? Let's take a commercial break, and when we come back, our live musical guest of the evening, Andrea Roberts! <laughs> Bill, slide that fucking knob. I'm ready. Let's do it. Until the day you listen up, we're looking for a place to live. Try University Place. Call 559 229 2295 or visit FresnoUniversityPlace.com for more information. Need a dentist? Call Dr. David Wright at 559 222 6213 or visit BiteMeDental.com. Siemens at LegacyPower.com or call 559-312-5011. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. Information on author Steve Hammond's Rise of the Penguins saga, visit www.riseofthepenguins.net. Kissed by the Moon, your cloth diaper and natural parenting store. Call 559 231 7101 or visit them online at kissedbythemoon.com. Central Valley Talk. Pasture grazed, delicious, nutrient dense, 100% organic raw milk from Organic Pastures. Visit organicpastures.com or call 1 877 Raw Milk. I was an addict, an opiate addict. The three years.
Fisher's Clean in October. I was renewed at the Fresno Rescue Mission. My mom, who does a lot of cooking, has been part of the rescue mission, has been willing to help teach people to make jams and jellies and other food. The Fresno Rescue Mission and I believe that downtown Fresno needs a renewal as well. Tree of Life Cafe represents new, healthy growth in downtown Fresno. I've seen men and women go through rehab programs. They want to start a new life. And yet when they get out on the street, they find it very difficult to get a job. Nobody will give them a chance. That's what this cafe is designed to do. You will be like family to us. We will serve you our home-cooked food made with farm-fresh produce that comes from farmers right here in our valley. We, we love, love downtown Fresno. Fresno. Sunshine Natural Health in Tulare, California is your source for nature's best remedies. Call Sunshine Natural Health at 559-688-2063 and get healthy. If you're considering a reverse mortgage in the Central Valley or just want more information, contact Jerry Carmichael. She's experienced and more important, she's local. Call 559-903-6903. Call Brian Cossack today at 559-977-1976. Protecting you and those you love financially. Make an appointment today. At Miracle Realty, we've been providing premier professional residential sales and property management in residential and commercial property for years. We manage single-family homes, condominiums, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, office space, and much more. No matter what experience level you have in property management, Miracle Realty strives to make your experience as stress-free as possible. Serving Madera and the surrounding areas, we use the latest technology and provide top-notch service. We're a trusted and reliable name in residential sales and property management with the experience to answer any questions or complications that might come up. Give us a call today or visit us online for more information. Central Valley Talk. Fresno State students, listen up. Looking for a place to live? Try University Place. Call 559-229-2295 or visit FresnoUniversityPlace.com for more information. Need a dentist? Call Dr. David Wright at 559-222-6213 or visit BiteMeDental.com. Siemens at LegacyPower.com or call 559-312-5011. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. For information on author Steve Hammond's Rise of the Penguins saga, visit www.riseofthepenguins.net. Kissed by the Moon, your cloth diaper and natural parenting store. Call 559-231-7101 or visit them online at kissedbythemoon.com. Central Valley Talk. Well, 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 Nancy, you made it this far ever since the inception of the show, February 12, 2013. Yeah, February 12, 2013. Wow. Tonight's episode 155, Bill. Can you believe that shit? Ever since Woo. the inception of the show, I vowed to bring you one live musical act a week. And this week, actually, it's a little different. We've started to branch out a little more. We've started to bring some artists from the fucking Bay Area. And tonight, you're going to get one of the Bay Area's very own. I'm very proud to bring to you, Andre What's up, everybody? I'm Andrea Nicole. I'm coming straight out of Oakland. Woo! I'm here to share some music with you guys. And this first one I'm going to share with you is called Dismissed. 
it goes like this. I check my phone to see it's four o'clock in the morning. Now what the hell is going on? See, I don't even want to know. Just get just your get ass your, home. Get your, get your, yeah, put, put some pep in your step. And yeah, push the pedal to the metal, yeah. Get it on my level, boy. You can get dismissed tonight, cause I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. You can get dismissed tonight. I ain't got time. Said I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Got me singing this song I can't 
can I smell? Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, thank you. Fresno State students, listen up. We're looking for a place to live. Try University Place. Call 559-229-2295 or visit FresnoUniversityPlace.com for more information. Need a dentist? Call Dr. David Wright at 559-222-6213 or visit BiteMeDental.com. Siemens at LegacyPower.com or call 559-312-5011. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. For information on author Steve Hammond's Rise of the Penguin Saga, visit www.riseofthepenguins.net. Kissed by the Moon, your cloth diaper and natural parenting store. Call 559-231-7101 or visit them online at kissedbythemoon.com. CentralValleyTalk.com, Sex, Drugs, Christopher is what you're watching. Holy shit, can we get up for the live musical guest of the evening again? Andrea Roberts! Oh my goodness, coming right out of the Bay Area just to perform for you guys. That was amazing. Now, you had to ride, you rode down here, it was about what, three hours? Mm -hmm. Three hours. Who, who were the road dogs? Who came with you? This is Nicole and my, behind me and AJ Time. Come on, give it up for Nicole and AJ Time. <laughs> Taking the ride down here. Now, I was just kind of talking to you just a little bit but uh, in between the break. The pipe's on you. You're good to go. Me and Bill, we call it GTG. You are good to go. Oh, when did you. you realize you could sing? What age? Um, Actually, my mama told me when I was three years old is when I started. You know, Tina Turner, she's one of my, oh. my idols, I guess you can say. So I learned from her. But when I was like 13, that's when I really said I want to do music. Like, that's what my passion. That's what I love. Cause you got the the voice is booming. Thank you. Um, any 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 professional training or that's just natural. You just started belting it out and you're like, this is how I sing. I learned from listening to people growing up, like SWV Escape. Right. Hill. You can hear it, right? <laughs> when she was singing, right? I just mimicked, and once I mimicked, I was like, this is what I want to do. I'm gonna do it. So, so those were the influences then yeah. coming up. And you know what? That's the lost art. Remember remember the girl and the guy groups? That's the lost art, I man. Know, we don't right. have a lot of them uh, hanging around, especially like SWV and stuff, right. man. And like even now, Boys to Men tour, and they lost one of the boys. There's only three of them going around. Oh, no. But still, it's like... Where are those? Where are those groups? I That's mean, where the remember real when they music wear, was. when they wear like all their the the, the matching uh, denim? Right. They had the cane. I was like, man, <laughs> the boys is bad. Right. Back then, not now, right? Right. But I mean, you got this voice, and and so where where are you, what are you doing up there? Are there places to perform? Is there a venue for someone like you up there? Um, I'm doing shows um, locally. I've done some shows out in this area, Central Valley area. I'm I really like fell out for a minute you know uh, my dad he was helping me with my music and he passed away oh. so I took a little break or whatever and I'm just now getting back to it and since I'm getting back to it you know it's it's been real good for me what for made you think it was years. time it was time to come back did you just suddenly feel it and you're like well you know, I'm you gonna know, do this now it was a passion for me number one and then I didn't want I don't want to let my dad down like he invested so much into me and I just don't want to let him down you know what I mean? nice yeah. nice that's sweet yeah. so so here you are now and are you uh you perform solo it's all you um 
I am an independent artist, and I have background sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm here by myself today. You know, I'm I'm just you know trying to get my name out there and stuff like that. But you do know, you, do you write your songs? Uh -huh, I write all my own music. How long does it take you to come up with a song from beginning to end? It depends on how I'm feeling. Like 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 cologne. If like cologne. If I'm going through something, oh, that took that was real fast. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, I saw some lady <laughs> moving a little bit. And local, you like when she was singing that one, right? He's like, it's gonna get everyone in the right mindset, huh? Oh you get everyone. You like that one, homie? It's gonna get everyone in the right mindset. <laughs> you know, when you in the mood, you know it comes real fast. It gets everybody man. in the mood. Bill, right? <laughs> Bill's like, man, that's the story of my life in junior high, right, Bill? <laughs> so here it is now. So where, so where does that come from, though? You just happen to feel something, and you're just like, I'm gonna write from this angle. This is my thought. And that's we're how go I with express it. myself through music. Now. The the music itself, who helps you get that together? What you mean? Like, um, like the beats and the background music and stuff. Are you um, arranging that yourself? No, or? I have a, a lot of different producers that I work with That's in cool. uh, Central Valley E Rock. You probably know Eric. E -Rock. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ice Dog in the Bay Area. Um, mm -hmm. Jay Anthony is in Atlanta. Um, Mo Diggs, Mario, he's in the Bay Area. Wow. So I, I work with a lot of producers. Yeah. So these folks all over are helping you get that together now. Mm -hmm. Um, do you come up with the, the lyrics and the song? You're like, man, I got this song, and then you hear a beat, and you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing it to this one? I write all my own lyrics. So when so do they send you the music first, and you're like, or do you get this song together, and then you're like, all right. Well, sometimes, you know, I come up with the music, and I modify it to the tracks that I get, or sometimes I'll get a track, and I'll listen to it, and I'm like, oh, this is hot, and I'll write real quick to it. Gee, bro. <laughs> well, I know, Bill. It makes me realize how much we're not doing sometimes, Bill. You, we come across so many artists on this show. I mean, three years of doing... Even, like, we've three had... Years. We, yeah, right? We've had everyone from reggae bands. We were a Walking Dead cast members. The Return of the Jedi guy. We've had we've actors and musical guests, and everybody, it's the same. When it's natural, it's natural. When it's mm -hmm. talent, it's talent. When you're, when you're belting out and singing, and everyone's freaking out going, how do you do that? And in your head, you're like... Well, I mean, I'm putting in some work, but it ain't like, I mean, I can do this any time. Like, it seems like it comes so easy to you. And I can't sing worth shit, no. <laughs> the first time she started belting out. Now, do you just have your personal page on Facebook? Um, right now, yeah, I do. I'm setting up my music page. I'm trying to get everything together. I do have an Instagram, um, a Twitter, and So I need to Snapchat. find you on those. What are you okay letting us find you on? Tell everyone. You can find me on whatever you want to find me on. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat is the Andrea Nicole, T H E E Andrea A N D R E A Nicole N I C O L E and Facebook is Andrea Roberts. That's how you can find me. Nice. Now, what's on the horizon for you? What are you doing right now? Are you trying to say nothing to it now? What are you thinking? I'm working on an album. Yeah. I'm trying to I was, was hoping she was in a sense. That's why I was like, was trying to phrase the question as such to almost make her say it to where even if she wasn't working on an album, she'd be like, fuck, I guess I'm working on an album now. But I was just like, because I mean, those are two, those are two banging tracks, Bill. You're going to get some, somebody's going <laughs> to... You got Bill, you're going to want to take those tracks when we get this episode up, and you're going to want to use those to the utmost ability that you can, because those tracks are going to hook you up, Bill. Have you had anyone hear your songs and tell you that, like the way your songs make someone uh -huh. feel? That's wild, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my shows, I, I have a, a lot of compliments. Every show I do. I do. Roberts. Roberts. Now, now I must ask you, is there is there a man in your life? A man? I care not to talk about that. Oh! Right she leaves the fellas wondering. Because I know there's a couple dudes at home going, I'm going to lock every page she said. I'm going to download every song twice. I'll pay for them twice. And I'm just saying, right, Bill? Yep. Bill, don't even try it. Bill lives in Fresno. Don't listen to anything he says if he tries to spit at you after the show. He's like, Bill's like, you know, I really, uh, I'm gonna uh, work, uh, work you into some more shows if you want, because you're not, <laughs> all right? Now, uh, I always like to ask people, you know, life is life. We all have day jobs. A lot of the artists that we meet in here, they have day jobs. They got to do stuff by day. It's almost like being a superhero, mm -hmm. you know? I got to live my life and do this by day so I can do this shit by night and, you know, do my passion. Um, unfortunately, we're all not independently wealthy. For, right. for you, though, um, having to split up that time, do you, do you find it hard? Do you find it easy? I mean, because I, I work, I work, and then, you know, I still try to come and do this, and some people just assume I get to sit around and smoke pot and drink beer all day. Oh, no. And some people must, you know, I, you know, some assume, like, oh, man, it's cool. She gets to go around and sing mm -hmm. and do this. But you have to live real life. Is it hard trying to find that balance? Writing is not easy. Um, 
practice is not easy recording is not easy and then i'm i'm a single parent you know so that's I take care in of itself too, so man yeah. she does all that <laughs> we're still writing bangers like cologne bill that one stuck <laughs> with me man i was standing next to sam i am over there when she was playing it. did you see me kind of moving and i was like oh man oh my my leg raising his arm while he's trying to drink his beer but it gets everyone moving like those i don't want to say and i know this sounds bad when someone says oh that sounds like a radio song but when i say that that's not saying oh it's it's sellout good i'm saying like that sounds like something that would literally catch your ear on the radio and you'd stop and go wait a minute who's this voice i don't know this voice now this is a crazy thing go with me on this because i know you're an artist and you're doing your thing and artist integrity but there's all these shows out there. Mm -hmm. There's all these shows mm -hmm. where someone like you could show up and maybe sing and you end up on someone's team, like maybe like a Blake Shelton or something. And I'm just saying there's a lot of shows out there and people that don't sing even as good as you. Oh. And uh, I don't watch those shows, but like I'll go over to my mom's and she'll have them playing in the background. And I'm like, who is this killing this song? Who's butchering this song? I'm like, oh, it's a contestant on The Voice. I'm like, no, 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 they need to be vo voted off. But have you ever thought about any of those shows or anything I've like that? I've actually went on a few of those shows. Oh, <laughs> what? See, I'm t I got the ear bill. I got the ear bill. I no. didn't make it. I mean, but I was on, I, I tried out with a lot of people who were excellent singers, and they didn't make it as well. It's, See, it's and, a certain image that they're looking for. And that's the thing. No matter what they say, no matter what they say, I think it always comes down to it. I think that's mm -hmm. what it always comes down to, Bill. And I think that's why I'm I'm here in Fresno, Bill. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I mean, um, yeah. I know what I like is the fact that you're still out there and you're and you're and you're putting the music out and you're and you're coming back to it off of mm -hmm. this hard thing. Now, do you see some inspiration? I mean, it's already motivated you to come back out there. But do you see like um, inspiration in your writing now, or maybe a little extra fire under your ass where there wasn't one before? I mean, it's always haters out there. You know what I mean? It's people telling you what you can't do or what you won't be able to do or whatever. Even going on those shows, you know, I kind of got discouraged a little bit. But I will never let anybody take that passion that I have for music away from me. You know what I mean? It's something that's in my blood. It's something that I love. It's something that I enjoy. And so it, it it's something that I'm going to continue doing regardless, you know? Hell yeah. Like that, right? Yeah. That's exactly what that's supposed to be about. Now, as a female artist, I'll even go this route with you. When you're doing these shows, um, the shows that you get booked on sometimes, is it mainly like ma uh, men on the bill? Are you the only female sometimes, or is it pretty mixed? You know what? I'm usually always the only R&B singer, and the rest are rappers. Right. But I get the best, like, Review. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Because everybody else is up there spitting their shit, and then she comes up there. Come on, it's like, oh. Banging yeah. out cologne for everyone. <laughs> People sliding out their chairs, and then it's like, I can't write enough good things about this damn girl. This is a girl brought it tonight. Is that, yeah, is that what it's like, though? You end up yeah. on these, these rap shows, and here you come, mm -hmm. like, right in the middle of it, just banging it out, and people are like, what mm -hmm. the shit did I, I hear? I'm real nervous every time because I'm like, I'm the only R&B singer, oh my God. But then once I get in front of the audience and I I notice the reaction, it's like, they're, they're really feeling my music. So yeah. it's like, I turn the show out, like the rappers don't even matter. <laughs> nice. Now let's do this. Uh, like I said before, sex drugs, Chris DeVault, sometimes folks come on, sometimes they drive from very far away and they get here and they realize, man, this guy talked over me the whole time, he didn't ask me the right questions. There were things I wanted to pump up and I didn't even get to say. Also, folks wonder how I feel at Internet Television Minute. Well, man, that's how you slough it off on someone else. So no longer is it sex, drugs, and Chris DeVault right now for the next minute. It is sex, drugs, and Andre and Robert! Yeah! 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 Oh, I'm supposed to continue going? <laughs> I didn't know. I thought we was wrapping it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> what you want to know about me? I, mean, <laughs> um, I don't have any shows online right now or, or coming up right now, but I can keep you guys posted. Check out my uh, Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter. Like I said, Instagram, Twitter, and um, Snapchat is the Andrea Nicole, T H E E Andrea Nicole. Facebook is Andrea Roberts. You can go on there periodically to check out my page and see where I'm at and what I'm doing. I'm here.
Oh, what lipstick? It's a mixture of a lot of things. <laughs> I can't even tell you right now, but thank you. <laughs> I don't know her. Yeah, right, right, give it up for sex drugs in there, Robert. Is that common, girls, to do a mix of lipsticks? Yes. Is that unique? You is that a common mix your thing? Own color up. Yeah, I was like, damn, that is a unique answer. All the other girls are like, no, you gotta mix your shit. How about this? Don't forget to like the official Facebook page, Sex Drugs Chris Devolt, where you find badass artists like Andrea Roberts. Let me tell you, we got fans in the UK, we got fans in Colorado, fans in New Jersey, fans from everywhere, and now they've been introduced to her, and they will like those pages because this is what I tell them to do. Now, uh, don't forget, let's give it up one more time for Jeff Griller from Central Valley Metal Movement. Tomorrow night, Toys for Tots, all ages. Find the links on the Sex Drugs Crystal page along with the flyers. Now, do you guys want to know who the live musical guest is next week? No, 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 you lazy fucking stoners like the Facebook page, cunt. And by the way, let's do the last one all together. One, two, three, cut. No, we didn't slide that fucking knob. Don't move, don't move. Something you need. Something. Ohio State students, listen up. Looking for a place to live? Try University Place. Call 559-229-2295 or visit FresnoUniversityPlace.com for more information. Need a dentist? Call Dr. David Wright at 559-222-6213 or visit BiteMeDental.com. Power for your home. Email Dan Siemens at Legacy Power.